Possibly you're feeling all the emotions, the anger, the upset, frustration, sadness, the heartbreak. That you want to understand how you can cope with your emotions to bounce back so much more quickly. And more importantly, that you want to avoid making the same relationship mistakes because get this, you will repeat the same relationship mistakes unless you become self-aware. So the skills that you learn in your life will not only impact your life in a positive way, but guess what? You'll impact your children in a positive way as well. Maybe you've had a catalyst in your life that we've been through pain. Divorce and separation is painful when any relationship ends. But pain is the catalyst to change your life. And we go through life to learn lessons. For the next seven years of my life, I studied, I researched, I learned all the books, I went on all the courses determined to find all the answers to become the expert of my own life and what I learned the most is just how powerful the mind is because it controls our life and our body follows how we think and feel. Jay left my life, I was broken I thought it was all my fault that the relationship ended and I threw myself into work because we do that right we distract ourselves by working long hours because we have to we can avoid all the pain that's going on inside today I'm a relationship recovery and success coach I'm also a health and well-being practitioner qualified in five interventions I understand the mind body and energy how it works together I've studied energy healing to release the trauma and stuck emotions in the body. As a life coach, who's had coaching before, raise your hand. Also as an energy therapist, I understand how to rebalance the body when you're feeling so emotional and down, how to recharge your body. I've walked my talk for 30 years, transforming my mental fitness, working through depression in my 20s. I also understand how to avoid making the same relationship mistakes to understand what does work in relationships and getting divorced it's important about how you feel emotionally stronger how you can cope with your challenges whether that's emotionally physically or mentally that when you start to focus on your thinking everything begins to change because when you change and you understand how you tick you start to communicate differently with the people in your life with your children how you positively impact them I also work with individuals that have been divorced a while that want to avoid more heartache and pain because as I mentioned earlier you're likely to repeat the same relationship mistakes. If your body could speak what would it say to you? If you couldn't understand what was going on with your body just ask that question. What would it say to you? What advice would your body give to you? That when we understand ourselves more we can connect more with our children, with our daughters. So when you say, my partner keeps hurting me, I keep feeling upset from all of the conversations that we're having, I keep hitting brick walls, the only person that you are harming is yourself. But when you change those words into what you do want, I want to feel calmer when I speak to my partner. I'm going to listen to my partner say what they need to say. I'm going to let it go after the telephone call. I'm going to feel happier because the only person that is suffering is you. So imagine that I have a sat nav and on my sat nav I can only plug in one address, the postcode to the fear of being hurt again. And that one address is going to take me to the fear of being hurt. I plug that into my sat nav. I'm thinking of my words here because it's so important about the words that you use. But it's just an example of if you have beliefs about I'm not going to trust again. I'm going to be hurt again, I'm going to be let down again. What do you think your brain is going to deliver for you? You're going to be let down, hurt again. So what I've designed is the figure out formula. It's important for you to figure out what beliefs are holding you back, what thoughts hold you back. How you respond determines how your partner reacts. So when you respond differently, your partner's likely to react differently. But coaching, how powerful it is, because it's about empowering you. It's not taking you to your past, it's about empowering you towards the future that you want. So if you wanted coaching to explore, you know, what you need to do to find a job, if you're in that position, you have to go out and find another business that you need to work on. 
how to break down the overwhelm about you need to buy another house, to move locations, how you do that, coaching is really powerful to support you. Where the mind goes, the body follows. If you're feeling negative emotions, it's an indicator you need to change your thinking. Athletes, when they're at the start of a, of a race, they are programming themselves to win. They've already fired off their muscles in their body because of the way they connect to their mind and their energy and their body and that outcome that they want. Well, but if you're really committed at wanting to change your life, your happiness, how you feel about yourself, your relationship journey, that you can have the most incredible life you truly deserve, the most incredible relationship even through where you are, how you communicate with your ex-partner will dramatically change when you focus on yourself. It's like fine-tuning a radio station, the more you practice this, you can start turning down those negative feelings the way you feel. You can start turning that volume down so you don't feel so awful. Pain has been my biggest motivator to change my life. And pain is that gift to change your life. I can save you 20 years of making the same mistakes that I made. When you love you and take your how you feel about yourself to a different level, everything begins to change.